This week I'm headed to Seattle for work and I think I'm going to have about one day to explore the city. So come with me as I show you everything you can see as a solo traveler with one day in Seattle. I'm here in Seattle. The hotel I'm staying in is Executive Hotel Pacific. Now, this hotel can be as affordable as $125 a night during slow season. And I think it's a really great option for business travelers or even solo travelers. Let's check out the room and then we're gonna go exploring. <music> So my first stop is Pike Place Market, which is just about a 10 minute walk from my hotel. Now for this trip, I did not have a car, so I stuck to walking during the day and Ubering in the evening. And I'm sure you're wondering how I felt as a female traveler walking the streets of downtown. I took normal precautions and stayed aware of my surroundings and stuck to the main roads and tourist areas and felt just fine. But I always recommend doing your research and deciding for yourself what you're comfortable with. and I got some Starbucks to warm up in this freezing cold weather. Now Pike Place Market is a must-see and I highly recommend going early in the morning to beat the crowds, especially on weekends. There's tons of food options, vendors selling locally made goods, and really cool shops. And don't miss the incredible views from the viewpoint behind the market. All right, the Pike Place Market is so cool. You can just wander around for hours checking out all of the local shops and vendors. There's a beautiful lookout point where you have views of the city and the mountains and the water. So you definitely don't want to miss coming to Pike Place. All right, I'm gonna have to definitely add the waterfront and the pier to my list. I really wanna go on that Ferris wheel, but I'm so scared of heights, so I don't know if I can do it alone. After you're done at the market, don't miss walking through Post Alley, which is a pedestrian area, home to additional shops and restaurants, and of course, the gum wall. Okay, behind me is the Pink Door, one of downtown Seattle's most popular restaurants. And I do have a reservation here, so we're definitely going to be eating here. Alright, 
The gamo is a must-see. It's disgusting, but really cool and a great photo op. Don't miss the gum wall. Bring some gum to add to it if you want. <laughs> a little work break and now it's time to get back out there and see how much more we can fit in to our one day in Seattle. What's the angle? Next we're heading to Pier 57 where you'll want to skip Miner's Landing and head to the Seattle Great Wheel and the Aquarium. You just go ahead and do it. I don't like heights, but this is not bad and the views are really cool. I am glad that I went on the Okay, so right next to the Seattle Great Wheel is the Seattle Aquarium. So let's go see the fishies. Okay, so the aquarium is pretty small, but still really cool. It will say, however, it's expensive to get in. It's like $42 a person, but between you and me, the ticket guy let me in for free. <laughs> We have a little bit of time before dinner, so let's go take an Uber over to the Space Needle. Now, a lot of people online will recommend skipping the Space Needle, but for me, it was the highlight of my day. I highly recommend going at sunset because the views are beautiful. The Space Needle isn't just a tourist trap. Well, it is a tourist trap, but it's a must do. These views are stunning. Alright, 
time for dinner, I'm going to one of Seattle's top restaurants, The Pink Door, for a very romantic dinner with myself. Let's go. If you've got one meal to eat in Seattle, eat it at the Pink Door. The vibes were immaculate, the food was delicious, and even though I was solo, it was very romantic. Highly recommend the Pink Door. We were running on that open shore. No saddle on his back. All right, guys, my time in Seattle is officially over and I'm at the airport. I hope you enjoyed traveling with me to Seattle for just one day. Thanks so much for coming to Seattle. And we'll see you in the next one.